thank you for being here. I'm Doug Beverly. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of the Encompass Health Rehabilitation Hospital of North Alabama. I've been honored to serve in this role for over the last 20 years. Knowing the impact rehabilitation makes in the lives of our patients, I cannot be more excited than be involved in this project as I fully understand the great opportunities this new hospital presents to our community, our patients, and our team. As you look around, this space is just dirt. But in the spring of 2022, this will be a place where patients will discover hope, renew function, and restore independence. Encompass Health in North Alabama has served our community since 1987, and we've had the honor of serving over 45,000 patients in Huntsville and the surrounding area on an inpatient basis. This hospital will serve patients who are overcoming a variety of debilitating illnesses and injuries, including stroke, brain injuries, spinal cord injuries, multiple trauma, amputations, and other neurological disorders. Patients receive a customized care plan and intensive rehabilitation services to help them meet their needs and get them walking again, talking again, caring for themselves, and living their fullest lives again. This future hospital has been specifically designed with the needs of our patients in mind. Phase one and phase two is already in the approval process, but phase one will include 76 private patient rooms, a spacious therapy gym with advanced rehabilitation technologies, an in-house pharmacy, a therapy courtyard, a cafeteria, in day rooms for our patients. But most important, it comes with an astounding group of clinicians and team members that are dedicated to helping our patients receive their most optimal recoveries. And an opportunity like, out like this, I'd be remiss if I did not recognize the people who brought us to this point. Our healthcare team. Still, we're actively caring for patients in the hospital, so we couldn't bring everyone. But I'm honored to have a few employees who have been caring for our patients at the hospital for over 25 years as a small representation of our entire team. I'd like to publicly recognize Wade Johnson. Team Tina McLemore, Mary Martin, Leanne Smith, Daryl Lanham, Stephanie Boyer, Lynette Patterson, Heather Garrison, Risha Hoover, and Jenny Sisko. I'd also like to recognize three of our dedicated physician leaders that have shared their compassion for rehabilitation and have made a major contribution to getting us to where we are today. Dr. Keith Anderson, our medical director. And doctors George Morgan and Richard Hull, two of the hospital's founding physicians back in 1987. Dr. Hull is retired and out of town this week, but Dr. Morgan is present. Doctors Hull and Morgan are both neurologists who had a lifetime of service to our medical community. For many decades, Drs. Hull and Morgan not only served as the founding physicians of our hospital, but they also served and took frequent call at night simultaneously at Huntsville Hospital the Old Humana Hospital, which is now Women's and Children's, Crestwood Medical Center, and our Rehabilitation Hospital. Thank you.
Keith Anderson has served as our medical director for our hospital for over 29 years and has provided strong medical staff leadership that has allowed us to serve our patients and touch lives. He's been a strong physician leader and a friend. Cannot express my gratitude enough to each of you, the 25 year employees and our physician leaders for all you've done and do for our patients. We're here today only because we stand on the shoulders of your efforts. Before I hand the mic over, I'd like to give a special thanks to the Encompass Health leadership, the leadership team at the Encompass Health Rehabilitation Hospital in North Alabama, our architect team at Gresham Smith, and our general contractors, Robinson and Morton, for help making this dream come possible. And last but not least, I'd like to thank the entire team at Encompass Health Rehabilitation Hospital for their hard work, taking care of great patients, taking great care of patients rather, and preparing us for this next exciting chapter ahead. Now I'd like to introduce our next speaker. Uh, been a little change of schedule today, but Rex Hamilton, who's our uh, state representative, come up and say a few words. Uh, Rex was gracious enough to fill in for Mayor Battle today. Our thoughts and prayers go to Mayor Battle and his family for the recent loss of Mrs. Battle. Mrs. Battle has been, a, as many of you know, has been a very positive influence in this community and a light in the lives of others as well. Rex, if you don't mind coming up and just saying a few words, sir. Thank you, Doug, so much. I'm Rex Reynolds, uh, John, John Hamilton, Colonel Hamilton. I took my place as city administrator uh, when, when he came in in, uh, in 2013. So uh, I welcome you as well. On behalf of the, the Alabama House of Representatives and, and Mayor Tommy Battle, uh, Shane Davis is here and, and Kath, Kathy uh, Martin is here. We have our councilwoman, Frances Acreage, that literally lives just right over the hill here. And, uh, and I grew up over here. So welcome to what we call Chase Valley. Uh, we have stood here this morning and talked about the wonderful opportunities uh, that this area will have for the workforce in this new hospital. I mean, to be able, I just thought, we just made the comment, think about you walking out, uh, if, you, if you get a break, um, and be able to just walk across the street and go to a restaurant, uh, possibly live in the area, we'd love to have you here in, in the middle of uh, uh, State District uh, 21. But uh, Kathy and Shane both were here, uh, I guess, 06, 07 time frame. Uh, when former Dallas uh, Fanning was over the uh, engineer department, and then Mayor uh, Spencer was here and, and, and the vision uh, to bring this road over into Chase Valley. And a lot of people, uh, Shane said this morning, they thought we were crazy. Uh, but, uh, and, and if 08 had not occurred, uh, there's no telling what this place would look like. And it means so much for you to be here. Uh, we appreciate you and, and best wishes to each other. Thank you, Doug. Thank you, Rex. Our next speaker is Mark Tarr, President and CEO of Encompass Health. Mark, welcome. Thanks, Greg. The podium's here. yours. Thank you. Well, it's a beautiful, it, you know, it's a beautiful day for lots of reasons. And uh, it's uh, like all things 2020, we've had to do this a little bit different manner. Normally we don't have masks on, normally we have more people here a little bit closer, uh, but it doesn't uh, take away or, uh, at all the enthusiasm that have uh, for this project. Um, to the staff that's here, uh, thank you for your dedication, um, commitment, and, and you know, performance over the years. It's just been outstanding. Um, I apologize that it's taken so long to get this project too. <laughs> I, I must say that there, as I look around here, there are a number of us that have been coming to uh, uh, participating in, in Huntsville meetings uh, back when we still had dark hair. Um, but uh, we, we put uh, a, a lot of effort, thought into this. We knew we had to do something. It was never an option not to do something here in Huntsville. We just couldn't figure out how to do it in spite of our best minds and, and thoughts, but uh, it's great to, to finally get to this point. Um, you guys uh, have worked very hard in what we would consider to be uh, a building that uh, with um, not enough room, we ask you to make accommodations to um, get the job done every day, and it's just uh, 
you guys have done it without complaining at least too much, right, Doug? <laughs> Doug has done all the complaining. But we are, we're very happy to be here as part of this uh, project, get the new hospital up and going. Um, it's gonna be a, a beautiful hospital with lots of room, with lots of focus on patient care, um, patient-centric uh, items and features like we do with all of our hospitals to do the best care we can uh, for the community here in Huntsville. Uh, this town is growing, uh, obviously, leaps and bounds. It's gonna be the largest city in the state of Alabama, I think, in the next five years. So we look forward to being uh, a part of that growth. We look uh, forward to being a good uh, community neighbor uh, for those uh, those of you that live around here. I, I met some of you that did. And uh, we also look forward to the ongoing growth of our hospital here, uh, being a big part of the healthcare systems here in the city of Huntsville. So thank you all for being here today. Well, that only leaves us with one more thing to do. <laughs> Let's break some ground.